for this I got motivation right now. We are having a boogered up sale all month of October, 25% off. Motherfuckers. Oh yeah, he is. Fairy tale on my side, and we got tech guys in the back, and somebody's a little mic'd up, ready to go. Let oh, it shit. fucking sprout. Give him, give him a little something, something. Cody Ray, why don't you tell us about yourself? What's happening? Don't I'm say Cody. shit. You got a mic. You say hi, and that's it. We give them a the little bit of leverage, and they try and grab it all. Look at that. Jesus Christ, Cody Ray, you're trying to talk. Cody already. Ray's veins already popping out of his head. It's been four and a half seconds into this podcast. Look at that shit. He's, you cannot hit your vape on the mic. You didn't even hear it. I heard He's you. Got that I heard you. Jeez Louise, you're like, oh lordy. This motherfucker. Oh, no, man. welcome back, guys. Uh, we apologize. Uh, uh, we yeah, are gonna our fault. tell you guys. Nick doesn't even know what we're apologizing for right now. It was our fault. I do apologize. No, um. We uh, did not actually record on the wedding day. Uh, a little bit of stress. Did not. We did not record. A lot of stuff was happening. Oh, Great I was stuff. stressing. No, no, no. Like just the wedding stress. I was stressing the night before. You were stressing the night before. <laughs> Trying to get a fucking outfit. Oh yeah. <laughs> we'll talk all about yeah. that during oh, yeah. this whole process. But no, oh, we wanted to apologize because I know last week was super cool. You guys had a whole bunch of compliments and shit about how. Uh, Watching us really, really, really boogered up was hilarious. And oh, uh, hell yeah. tech guy said that they were getting really annoyed because of how much their phone was blowing up. And as annoyed, I mean excited because you guys just kept messaging the shit. And it was cool. We love it. We love we it. We saw them all too, which is really cool. Got our dick sucked. What? By the way, what are you saying? Nothing. Don't um, incriminate me for something I did not do. I watched it. I'm just kidding. I'm incriminating Travis. Yo, I didn't, didn't, okay, first off, tech guy, four and a half minutes in, stop typing on that, immediately, we're cutting that off, tech, tech guy on the other side doesn't have a mic, and he is fuming, he's like, I need to speak, my voice needs to be heard, don't worry, tech guy, simmer down, I see your sweat stains on his shirt right there, you get, <gasps> you get worried up, you're worked up, you will get a mic very soon, look, we did not get that, we do apologize, but the day was great, and we're going to tell you all about it. Nick, do you want to get into the wedding right now, or do you want to get into topics? Uh, yeah, fuck yeah, let's talk about the wedding, I had a blast. You had a blast? Fuck yeah, bro, awesome ceremony, beautiful oh. ceremony, I cried. Oh, I had a whole bunch of people crying. I was like, it's god damn it, I wish I could wear sunglasses right now, but that had tints on it. <laughs> I was like, jeez Louise, I was like, I don't want my glasses, I was like, god damn. I, no. just, I was like, I just, you know, when people were like, we crying, I was like, no, I got stung by a bee and I'm allergic. You are allergic to bees, though. <laughs> That's fucking funny. You know, just kidding. Beautiful ceremony, though. The, uh, it was, I, so, we originally planned, so Thursday night, shout out my goddamn Bengals, beat Jaguars, uh, last second, super fucking thankful for that one, um, right before the wedding, I didn't want that to happen, because I was gonna fucking probably stop the wedding until the one, uh, the week Stop! Before. Um, but no, uh, I was super fucking stoked that, uh, what was I even talking about? What did you just say? The wedding. Oh, yeah. Um, Thursday, we were talking about... Um, cats cannot stop meowing. Uh, Thursday, we were talking about music, and she played... Um, uh, uh, what was that song you guys walked down to? Do you know? <laughs> no, 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 no. That was Leaving. That was Leaving. What was that? Um, oh, it was like the Twilight song. I don't fucking know. There is that Twilight song. That super Twilight. sad Twilight song. Everybody cries. Like, Why if I would die every day, we for you. Johnny, okay, yeah, I like that song. Yeah, y'all walked down to that song. Thursday night, I'm fucking hammered watching the Bengals. And I started crying gator tears down my cheeks. And I'm like, that's the one. That's it has the one. to be the one. And then I'm up there and I'm like, I was cool. I was feeling I was feeling super sweet. I was like, hell yeah, do I know I look good? My baby's about to walk down and everything. The My boys are about to come. Good. Everybody's walking up. And I'm knuckle I give knuckles to the girls. I'm dapping my boys up. All this song's playing. And we're getting through it. And I go, 
holy shit, like, I'm getting really fucking emotional right now. I was like, like, everybody's up here now. I'm about to cry. And like, I dapped up my brother, and I saw my brother getting emotional. I was like, shut up, fucking bitch, sit down, fuck you. And I'm like, god damn it, like, no, this can't happen. And, I, and the music stops, and a dangerous woman by Ariana Grande starts playing. And I look at the fucking girl that uh, was an ordained minister, and I looked at her, and I go, oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to cry. And she goes, she got tissues. She goes, do you need tissues? I was like, no. No, yeah. No, let no. it naturally flow. Let it That's naturally. Literally, I literally was like, let it naturally flow. And I'm staring at you the whole time because you're on the you're on the girl's yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I told you beforehand, I have to lock in with you because I cannot prematurely watch her walk down the, the aisle. I did a really good job, too, of not making you laugh. I just stared off into space. Oh, yeah. He was looking at me, and I was just like, oh, good job. Man. I just stared off into space. I was like, did I turn? And I just started bawling, bro. I smacked Huff in the ass. Best man in the ass. And I'm like, yeah, that's my, that's my bitch right there. Yeah. <laughs> that's my bitch. I was, I was amped up, dude. But uh, the ceremony was super beautiful. Honest to God, I know I'm going to get trashed on this one. I halfway remember her vows just because of uh, how much adrenaline I had going on, knowing that I had to get that picture frame and shit and everything else. I listened to them and they were very beautiful. It made me feel very good. And um, dude said, I couldn't tell you one line. No. <laughs> Truthfully. Honestly, I couldn't even remember anything that uh, our minister said either. I love it. I was, I had so much adrenaline and shit. It was so beautiful. I kept, like, I, I literally was, like, lost looking at her, dude. It was fucking weird. Like, I know that's real cornball and I have to say, but, like, looking at her, like, I couldn't really remember anything. I was oh. just so happy. He said, yo. Uh, and then for the vows, I fucked off and uh, made a Grey's Anatomy fan here. I've been waiting to tell this whole thing. Oh boy. Grey's Anatomy, uh, Derek Shepard and Meredith got married uh, with a sticky note in a little bait, in a little frame. And uh, I wrote my vows on a sticky note in the frame and it had a uh, little on stitch. Little on stitch. Uh, Fucking little thing in there about like Anna means family, some shit. Oh yeah. Uh, something about ghost adventures in there. There was another thing of fucking Grey's Anatomy, and there was one more that I'm forgetting right now. What was uh, it? Lisa, oh, uh, Star Wars story. Um, we were up and no good. Oh, Harry Potter. Duh. Thank <laughs> you. All my all my lines saw started with I solemnly swear, and then at the end I said uh, I solemnly swear that we are up to no good, and then I had her sign it. And what she didn't know was in the little line that says, you got to fuck me every night. So, she, yeah, I, I'm she's locked like, in. I'm uh, locked in, boy. She's like, so I have to sign this right no, now? No, she didn't see the little line. I didn't have to read it because of the description you of know. the thing. I, no, yeah, I didn't I have that you. on there. But it was uh, beautiful, and it was a great time. And then we left, and then it got real fucking wild. Oh, that reception got crazy. Oh, I was fucked up. We did a shot before we even walked out for the wedding and i was like oh my god oh dude we had a shot beforehand i, I forget what i had what, what was god it? love my father my father bought all the alcohol oh my god yeah I ripped to his pocket the fucking whiskey and the vodka and everything had to be just the cheapest shit yeah. budget friendly nobody gave a fuck there was tito's oh tito's was for my mother oh my mother is a tito's whore she fills up her glass every five minutes. With a little squirt of her fucking, like, little, I like, you know, the, yeah, like, like when you the water. water did, we're like, you know, like, you know, 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 to be still giving shots away. But okay. Shots go lore. Yeah, we went through like a whole like gallon and a half of fucking uh, uh, vodka, two gallons of whiskey. Ooh. Uh, how, I don't know how many. Oh how much boy, beer. boy, Cody Ray is looking at us like we're fucking. How crazy. much beer? When I told, oh dude, we had a lot of beer. We had two cases left. Of Bud Light. There were like two or three cases of Bud Light left. Out of the 30 rack of Miller High Life that I had, there was eight left. And I still drank Bud Light too. And I had whiskey and shit. I don't know how the fuck I was not just blacked out drunk. Oh the adrenaline God. was Bro, I was 
Fuck my no. dad, my dad's hammered. Absolutely. Fuck hammered. yeah, he was. Nobody has seen him more drunk. And I literally go to get another Miller High Life at like one o'clock in the morning. And he looks at me and he goes, Have you been giving these away? And I'm like, No. No. I've been no. drinking them out of the fridge. Nobody's been able to go into the fridge unless it was like me or the party. Mm -hmm. Everybody had their own beer in there. He goes, Dude, there's like less than 10 in here. And I go, Yeah. Welcome to it. Yeah. It's okay. Here you go. Cheers. You need one? Did all fucking trash. I gave, I remember I gave two of them away to my buddy Josh, who showed up, which. You have the funniest fucking joke. Oh my about god, bro, listen. In the world. So shout out to Josh. I didn't know who the fuck he, I mean I knew who he was, but I had no idea what he looked like. And so I'm walking out the bar, tanked. I am tanked. And it's me and my girlfriend, and we're going back to dance, and I see fucking Brian Laundry <laughs> on the dance floor. And I screamed. I was like, it's Brian Laundry. And I'm pointing and everything. And my girlfriend's like, you don't even know who that is. You need to stop. And I was like, all right, all right. This and you know, I walked past dude. And he's like, what's up, Nick? And I was like, how the fuck do you know me? He's like, I'm Josh. And I was like, oh, I've been telling everybody that you're Brian Laundry. So, you know, I'll be oh. surprised if we're about to get raided. <laughs> dude, I was, in fact, the feds. That's so fucking funny, dude. He goes, yeah, dude, I thought that was Brian Laundry. And I was like, the fucking dude that killed fucking... Yeah, I was like, potato? that's Gabby Potato's killer. Gabby Potato, baby. Got oh, along. yeah. Ass was probably shaped like one. <laughs> oh, my God. Yikes. Ah, <laughs> that guy with the first independent word. Sorry. Yikes. <laughs> oh, man. And, yeah, damn. Nah, dude, her and her dude are beating the shit out of each other. They, they both aren't good for each other. Just, somebody was gonna die. The fucking WWE somebody match was going wrong. Die. WWE she was wrong. beating the shit out of him before it. That's well, so we're going back on Gabby for the third week oh, in a row. Man, we can't. No, we can't. You Fuck know what's not good, though? Good. What? R. Kelly catching more cases. Oh, my God, bro. He didn't even do it. I'm just kidding, bro. That man's in prison. For his sexual encounters with children. He's been at it for years, too, it seems like. Yeah, bro, he's been going crazy. Holy shit. I was, was like... I, that was fucking funny. It just, I did not think that you were going to come out of left field. He did not do it. After he's been accounted of... We have, like, a fucking 14 acts of sexual <laughs> explosion, exploring. Fucking tech guy. You know how to read. You read, don't you? Sometimes. Read the... Just get your phone out. We sent it to you. All right, so we got tech guy here. We're like, okay, here's your job. Since you have a mic now, you are going to read what we're going to talk about so you can address it to us. He goes, oh, I can't read that. There's a 50-inch TV behind him, and he's it's right behind, next to it's it. It's behind me. <laughs> it's you a, can't read it if you turned around. You're no, driving. It you're, says exploitation. How do you drive? Didn't you drive here? He can't drive yeah. after 7 o'clock. It does get a little risky at that point. <laughs> it does. Like once it gets dark, or if it's like raining and dark. Rip. Speaking of driving risky, dude, Kaylee's fucking all night drinking away. It's after like two hours left. She's like, "No, I'm fine. I'm not gonna drive. You know, I'm good to drive." Because yeah, apparently she doesn't drink. We get in the fucking car, and I hear her go, "Drive, sorry, I'm not." Fine. No, 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 no. Shut up. She went. And immediately, everybody that has been drinking before that sits in the driver's seat that takes that deep breath, they know. you know that you're trying to cool out and focus on the road. No, you know you're about to play a dangerous game. <laughs> Dude, foggy as fuck that night, too. Oh, yeah, it wasn't clear. I she, she was going five miles home. per hour on the turns because she didn't know what the fucking turns were. We got were. home, bro, and ate ravioli. And what? Yeah, I got home from the reception, ate ravioli, and uh, I think pizza rolls, and had probably like... Top 10 best sex with my girlfriend. Oh, yeah. And I also did amazing. not get laid on my wedding night. Ask me why, Nick. Why? You were too Because I laid on my goddamn bed, and she's like, you know, I had a great time. Starts bitching about this and that, this and that. I'm literally on the side of the bed, like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She goes, are you listening to me? I'm like, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I was so fucking, I, I didn't realize how bad my body hurt until I got home. Oh, yeah, bro. My feet were on 12 the following day. I was like, yo, this isn't good, bro. This sucks. Like, my life sucks right now. Like, as soon as I sat down in the car, in the, I almost said car, in the car, I literally was like, my feet were like, 
Throbbing. Bro, the fucking the shoes we have were not the best. Oh, bro, yeah. But, yeah it's alright, though. You want to talk any more about the wedding? Because he wants to. That guy's trying to direct the attention to the, to the peer. Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, so. He's got to pee. So, I want to know why he likes to pee on people. Should we should we address what is happening first? He said that he yeah, R. Right. Kelly's guilty, for like you know, sexual exploitations. That's the word. He's facing nine counts. Uh, nine counts know. of that. How many years has he got? I heard it was like ten minimum, uh, max life. I, I think it all just depends on how long he's gonna last in there. You think he's gonna kill himself? Or get tore up. Somebody might kill him. Somebody's gonna rip him a new one. You think no, no, no. he's gonna get raped. Oh. They're not gonna kill him. They're gonna rape his booty hole. He's like no, no, He's no, gonna come no, out no. there and change man. He's gonna be like toot toot. Just ask Jared from Subway. Do you Listen, think somebody's oh. gonna tell him to toot toot so they can throw their beep beep in him. Do you think they're gonna have him sing to him? Oh, they're gonna have to. Locked in the closet. What's the one trapped in the closet? Is that where is that where if if you had to make him pick one song? He you're, said, you're, 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 no, you're back in. He said, damn, that body. <laughs> he said, damn, that CO looking swole. My booty hole, it hurt. Oh, my God. Are you remixing right now? Yeah, I'm in prison, baby. I'm about to have it. <laughs> <laughs> His favorite time is probably shower time. He can pee on anybody and not get in trouble. For he's it. just, hey, guy, everybody check out for our killer. Why? Dude's literally just running around peeing my feet. Hey, yo, what if, like, it's the complete opposite of what we're making it to be? What if R. Kelly's, like, king when he goes in there? He will. Dude, that's my take on this. Seriously, my take is that he's going to go in there and there's going to be a bunch of other sexual predators. They've been literally doing the worst of the worst shit to his music, knowing that he's gotten away for it for years. And they're like, oh, yeah, dude, you're my robot. Bro, there's going to be fucking murders. I've been listening be like, to you know Seems what? Like She's Ready for about five years now, just going at it. They're going to be like, you know what? A dude facing life for murder, murdering his family, he's going to be like, you know, that remix to Ignition is pretty good. The remix you, to Ignition. You cool with me, bro. You know what's <laughs> the craziest part of this whole thing is the fact that, like, you ever see, like, the documentaries of people, like, Donner and shit and all this other yeah, stuff? Yeah, I cannot wait like, to see Like, crazy that. people that have done crazy fucking things. If there's, like, if there's that kind of shit, you see that shit when they're dead or after they're fucking locked up or whatever else. Well, sure, blah, blah, blah. This dude literally was free. He was wandering the streets as two came out. About him and all these girls in interviews were talking about it. He got to sit at home and be like, "Damn, yes, that did happen." Mm -hmm. Hey, I, I thought she wasn't gonna tell anybody. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking crazy. I mean, that dude was at home chilling, yeah, eating yeah, some what? popcorn, <laughs> probably jerking off to thinking what? about what he fucking did back in the day. Well, check, check it, check it. He probably uh. God damn it, you made me lose my train of thought. Just hit me with it, come on, keep going. Keep talking Remix. about R. Kelly, keep it's about R. Kelly. Remix to it. No, oh yeah, yeah. so he uh... Pissed on her so during, so during all that shit, he dropped a whole album just to pay for all this shit. And he got nothing out nothing. of it. Nothing. He got fucking nothing, dude. Nothing. He's, he's like, like, he's, like, he's the first, he's like one of the first people that like for their net worth to be in the negatives. Yeah, because of all this shit. He's like, damn, man, even Bill Cosby had to come back. What up? <laughs> Why are you trying to make him sound like Michael Jackson? I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> you know you could buy Michael Jackson's house? What is it? The Neverland house? The Neverland ranch? It's are for you sale. kidding me? Right now? Yeah, it's for sale. Do you know the price of that? It's probably, I think it's like, I think it's like, it was like, like only like a million, like one point something. You're out of your it mind. It used to be like bro. five something. I don't know. I thought it was like one. Don't quote me on that. Tech guy, like, look up and see. Uh, look, look up and see if Michael the, Jackson's the uh, Neverland house is for sale. How much is it right now? The Neverland Ranch. That's the one where it's like an amusement park. He's like, I want to be a kid. <laughs> He's like, come play with me. Come play with me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Neverland Ranch. Jason just screamed. He said, uh, no. Put it away, man. Take a gander. Take a gander at the tech guy's phone because we still don't have him on the mic yet. Can it's you read uh, that? Yeah, 22 million. 22 million? I was this way off. This motherfucker said 1 million. Way off. This is way Michael off. Jackson's that's house. house. That's why I said don't quote me on 1 it. 1 million dollars. That's why I said don't quote me on it. Well, that's because you think that $1 million well, listen, is $22 million. Well, listen, it's that's a lot of money. Well, it's $22 million now because I the ghost there haunts it. And you just hear, hey, come play with me. Down the hall and then like, hey, 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 hey. Down the hall. Down the hall. It's like you just hear you just hear somebody 
Oh, moon sign. <laughs> you just yell, Michael. <laughs> Michael. Come <laughs> me. Could you imagine though? See, Back to R. Kelly though. Back to R. Kelly. He's he's gonna be doing a lot of peeing, peeing on everybody. What was that grunt you just had? He's gonna be I'm doing just, a lot of peeing. Just cause you got a pee fetish, bro? No, he's gonna. He has it the pee like you were a little. You were in distress as you were trying to say this. Because I'm just. He's, I'm getting just, a lot of he's gonna be. In that's heaven. what I thought. Yeah. Kobe Ray heard it too. I'm just like he's gonna be in heaven with it. That's why I'm just like he's going. Where no, he shouldn't bro. Be going. Do you think they're gonna make him sing the songs to him as he's doing it, as as they're doing it to him? I think the dude's not even gonna be fucked with for the first like five years. Truthfully, like I, I, I think I, that I, nobody, nobody like a with a petty crime is gonna come out of nowhere and be like, "Hey, that R. Kelly, yeah, Shank." Well, not even that. Like I'm not even talking about him getting killed like that. I'm talking about him like legit getting like stuffed in his pooper. Oh yeah, he's gonna his pooper will be stuffed. He will be sitting on an inflatable donut. Taking. Dude was guilty of racketeering, including acts of bribery and sexual uh, exploration. Exploitation. <laughs> of a child, of a child of along with separate charges of sex So he abandoned it with the kids. Oh, yeah. He, he faced a kids. total of nine counts, one count of racketeering with 14 underlying acts that included sexual, that word, I don't, I'm not going to try to read that again. Bro, that's crazy. Of so a child kidnapping, kids. bribery, and sex trafficking charges, and so, also eight additional counts of violations of the Man Act, a sex trafficking law. So dude fucking kidnaps a eight girl. Eight additional counts. This dude was like, look, sir. Wasn't he like trapping bitches in his basement, listen, too? Listen, listen. So dudes, dude has kidnapping, bribery, put two and two together. He he kidnaps a girl, <laughs> blows her back out, bribes her not to talk. That's your sitting at home eating hot pockets or some fancy ass caviar with hot pockets, and he sees you know the true crime R. Kelly series on Netflix. He's like, oh no, this is not good. <clears throat> Why does he sound like Michael Jackson? I don't know. I'm trying to make because the only voice I can hear R. Kelly is when oh, like, Michael Jackson is the only thing. You no, can no, no, no. Is when all that shit was going on with him when he's like, "Kill me, man." That's what I was just <laughs> thinking. Of. I, think I literally of. just thought about that's that. That's all I think of. He's like, "What, what was Kill me, man?" That's all I think I of. I don't remember what the fucking famous that one famous quote was. So he jumps up and he's like throwing his. He's, he's like, like he's, he's like, I didn't do it, man. This shit killing me, man. Is that what it is? Something oh like that. God. He put his whole heart in that. He wanted he's to be crying and him. shit. Oh, dude, his face. He got, he had like a fucking uh, Michael Jordan face for a while. <laughs> Everybody was yeah, making him as a meme. Hell yeah, that's just so funny. That shit is so fucking funny. Exactly. No, dude, that's trash though. Uh, it's really okay. So you have, are, are people able to still listen to R. Kelly music? I think he's canceled. I get that he's yeah, canceled, absolutely. but can you still listen to R. Kelly music? Can you get back? Can you no. Get, can you get past what this person unless has gonna, done unless you're and going listen to, pee, to his music? Unless you're going to pee on that person and perform sexual acts that are not wanted by the other person, then no, you cannot. So I have to R. delete Kelly. a lot of albums off my phone. Yeah, album. unless you're going to rape someone, then... That's the only time it's exceptional, I suppose. It's only exceptional, exceptional to listen to R. Kelly when you plan on doing really heinous things. I guess. It's kind like of like that. people listening to Marilyn Manson during Satanist shit. It was, didn't Marilyn Manson get caught up in that shit too? Uh, right? I don't know. I heard that he's a stinky motherfucker though. I've watched, oh, that dude don't shower. Yeah, I've watched not countless shower. interviews. You think I don't shower? Before. That dude's horrendous. Also, side note, I'm almost done with Sons of Anarchy. Marilyn Manson comes in on the last fucking season as a goddamn white supremacist and says the hard R and I laugh my ass off. What? I'm like, is that Marilyn Manson? And then he just boldly said it and I'm like, what the f What the f what kind of hillbilly gibberish bullshit? He's saying all the slurs. He's teaching me slurs on it. And I'm like, what the fuck? It's like, I don't want to envision Marilyn Manson. Like, I'm like, right, like, Marilyn Manson's like decent. I, go, I, I really like, the only thing I listened to was the beautiful people as a kid. Oh, yeah. Wow. And the only reason why, SmackDown to... vs. Raw. Because when I that went... shit was on there, you wanted to rhino gore somebody through a table and fucking no, I went through kick a whole them in the face. fucking. Marilyn Manson phase, like, uh, use your fist and not your mouth, um, this is a new shit, um, Tainted Love, that was a remix. Oh, Tainted Love, um, yeah. 
trying to think of uh, some other ones, man. You had a whole phase with the two. Moxie. What was the one of the oh, over there in the hot tub with the music? This is a music video. You think I fucking do you know music it? videos? You crackhead. The one that they're in the music video where mm-hmm. it's like a Hollywood something or some shit like that. I don't know. You ever hear the band Murder? You had a fucking whole Marilyn Manson phase. You just said you named three songs in his most like one of the most iconic music videos. I can't think of the title. You don't I even know that. I watch music videos even on YouTube. What fucking to phases music? do you have? You eat one piece porn. of cheese and you go, I went through a cheese phase. Porn phases for sure. Porn phases? I was heavily addicted to porn, like the seventh grade. Yeah, what's that song? Don't type it out. Just tell him. You can say it. It's Tainted Love. Tainted Love. Okay, it is Tainted Love, you stupid cock. He's in a fucking hot tub? Yeah! There's a girl that's in Grey's Anatomy that uh, she died, but she's in the music video. Gee, listen. Gee. When I was in set, I, when Tainted Love came out, I had it on an MP3 player. There's no way I could have watched the fucking YouTube video. I didn't give a hell about YouTube. I was just hyped I had it on my MP3. And ever since then, you've never given a fuck about it. No. I'm letting the cast know, then I got the dog down, I'm chilling. Just oh, Peep the just... new table. Our setup's coming together. Yeah, with your fucking hot ass foot. Get it off the guy. Look at that fucking. When's the last time you bathed those fucking puppies? It already smells like shit. When's the last you time were. You yeah, when's the last time you showered? Yesterday! You sh- did you shower after the wedding? Yeah! Not after, right after the wedding, no. I was pissed drunk! So was I, and I took a cold shower and it felt amazing. And you know what? I peed in that shower. And you know what? I smelled so good after, I got to have lovely relations with my lady because she's like, you smell good. And then she started kissing my neck. Your lady would have fucked you if you literally bathed in. Beer for three years after that. She was horned up on a Thursday night and wanted nothing but the fairy tale. No. <laughs> He's on the spit no. Dude, she literally was like grabbing his face, like, doesn't he look so hot? And I'm like, oh my god, yeah, I know. Like, like, me and your lady are dance. We're literally like, like, her, like, yeah, bro. like right here. I danced for everybody. And you, and you literally was on the other side, and you're like, fuck yeah, high five, I'm going. Hell yeah, because I had to go piss real bad. I peed so much that I danced they with half the, the part. The half the people clo- there. They closed the piss trailer, and I was like, "You got you fucked yourself." She said we filled up the piss trailer. How many fucking times did we have to pee that night to fill it up? We go I, right back to the. I'm just like, how do we get fill it up? Just Kelly. fucking drain it right there. Just fucking drain a little bit. Fuck. Speaking of R. Kelly, real quick. Hey, gentlemen, respect fucking women, please. Jesus Christ. We're not gonna talk about it, but we're gonna talk about it for a second. Respect women. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but I don't want to go any farther into that because some shit happened at the wedding. Just respect women. Talk to dude. Everything's all well on that now, but you stupid cocks and your alcohol. We had a, we had our buddy Nick that was literally... If his girlfriend's thigh was not pregnant by the end of that fucking night, then I don't know I don't know how else you get pregnant. He was literally oh, yeah. helping that like a dog. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So 2022 cannot come fast enough, Travis. My mic just broke on me. I think. It might broke. It's, no, I didn't. 2022. Sounds, <laughs> Sorry, I took a dude. I went and took a piss because tech guy had to fucking pee too. Oh, I and after I peed, then. dude, my whole body changed. Whole so body what? Changed. 2022. What's Bro, up with this, dude? Because uh, you know, thinking back, how you put them Harry Potter quotes in your vows and shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a Harry Potter game coming out that my girlfriend said looked fucking cool. Oh, it's is called, that the? It's called Hogwarts Legacy, and it's supposed to come out in, like, 2022. That's the one that you can do fucking each fucking yeah, you goddamn, pick, like, team. Uh, yeah, listen, what is it fucking, what is it, could, school? Hogwarts, yeah, listen. Yeah, the school, the school yeah, each school? Yeah, yeah, there's actual, like, places, is, like, it's not, you, so you're not going to see, like, Harry and the gang and stuff. You create your own wizard, and you follow, like, your own path and shit. You can use your magic for Is this good. shit like GTA for Harry Potter? I don't know. You can use your magic. It said you can be a good wizard or a bad wizard. You can use it for good or bad. And I was like, oh, bro, I bet. I want to be a Dementor. Say, oh, <laughs> dude. Get some facts on this game, please. I want to know more about this right now. Bro, yeah. I, I, I see the I trailer just... for three minutes, and I'm like, I told Kaylee, because Kaylee's fucking huge in that shit. And I'm like, I, I'm like, babe, we need to get this game. This looks fun. She's like, no. I, I seen like, it on TikTok. I'm buying it. I seen it on TikTok, and I was like, would you play this with me? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, bet. I was like, Say less. Can you play? Okay. So can you play online? 
I'm sure. Me and you. Me and you and the ladies are gonna hook sure. up online. We're just gonna be throwing around our fucking wands and just fucking. <laughs> Spell out his bitch. Completely. Spell out Whatever the fuck I don't know. Spell out his bitch. What's the fucking. What's that one that you kill people with? One Guardio Leviosa. Yeah. I don't know. I, is that it? I don't know. It sounded good. I, I have no idea. Okay. I don't know, but if you. If you just did. Get mad, get a uh, Xbox and get mad and so I can wipe the floor with you. Is it Xbox? Is what you have? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get the new PS. That's <laughs> fucked. I got the new Xbox. No, because you got that for a cheap deal, and I need to get something that's not so expensive. Just the PlayStation's are play. super expensive. I'm gonna get the new Xbox just for the fuck of it then. Just get yeah. I was gonna say get the one that I got. It's the cheapest. What is the Xbox? System. What? What is it? Now? Series X, Xbox D. It's like Xbox Series S. Series S. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um. What are you doing, tech guy? Oh, the oh, fucking... I see, I see. <laughs> tech guy's over there just like... Oh, but no, yeah, the Harry Potter game, I'm fucking stoked about now that you just mentioned that. Yeah, bro, I was just thinking about it. I can't wait to get Madden and Harry Potter so I can beat your ass in both. You're wild. You're a wild young man. For they call me Harry Potter for a I hope it's cross-platform, though, even if you did want to get a fucking PS5. Is it, that's what sucks. Is how does, I think how does that work? So there's only certain games you can play that's cross. So like Warzone, through Activision, you can play cross platform. Like you have an Activision account. Tech guy, fat guy over there. Yeah, I'm. Are I'm, you I know able to cross platform? Look into it. I would say I know how it works. And well, no, I'm like, asking you if it is. And like, uh, I don't know if it will be, but I know with uh, MLB The Show 21, my brother he has a PS5. And I have the new Xbox, and we play. Dude, cause this could be something because we had a uh, tech guys are telling us. Oh, you gotta get the show. You gotta get the new game. The, the show. show. I'm talking about this Harry Potter shit right now. The oh, tech guys yeah. are telling us that the the entries into the because uh, we asked if the, the if you can go in each house shit. Like, what house are you? And, and there was literally like 50, 60 at least of just everybody's like repping their shit. And I'm like, God damn, you motherfuckers fuck with Harry Potter like that. Right. Yeah. We need to get true. Harry Potter up here somewhere. We got Posty, we got Annabelle, but we need Harry Potter up here. Tell us something that we should put I don't up. No, we need to get Hag. If anything, we're gonna get Hagrid. I like that. Hagrid's the dope. Like that. Or get the Snitch. I like the Snitch. The Golden Snitch. Yeah, that's a cool. Even though he be tattling and stuff, it's cool. He be tattling. No, oh, but no. What I'm getting at with that is that. Put it in say nothing. You cut them off, dick. Uh, there's no word on a cross platform yet. No word no. on it yet, so it's not a yes or no. Okay, but if it is, regardless if it is or not, me and Nick are gonna get that shit. Probably gonna get it on the Xbox. You motherfuckers want to play with us? Oh, oh bro, man, hook us up. We can be. Get out of here. Boogered up gaming channel. Oh my god, where's where's Nick and Travis at in the game? Oh, they're getting fucked up on. Boogered up gaming channel. Travis. That guy gets a mic for one episode. Mark. Love Travis, it. listen, we, we're going to be at the, we're going to be drinking, what's that, beer? What's the fucking beer? Oh, drink? it's the butter beer. Butter yeah, beer. thank you, thank you. They're I had that at Disney. Like, they're going to be like, where's Nick and Travis? And we're going to be sitting at the bar fucked up off a of butter beer. <laughs> <laughs> like, how are we supposed to do any magic with these guys? Dude, they're if this thing is up. a GTA thing, I'm going to be so fucking happy. Oh my God, especially going around zapping motherfuckers, I'm a bad wizard. Imagine they take Harry Potter and turn it into a GTA world I'm where it's all to, free. Just Travis, I'm supposed to be in class right now, and I'm at the bar getting smacked. Me and you were just beer. chilling there. Honestly, dude, in the movie with that orange beer that they were drinking, that shit was, that shit looked splendid. It looked like oh, orange creamsicle. <laughs> oh, that'd be crazy. Oh my God, tech guy, what's up on the agenda for us right now? We got popping the halftime shows. Oh, the halftime show. Speaking of that, I've been going through a little Eminem phase again. I don't know why, but it's been very white of me, and I need to get out of that. Very phase. white of me. Literally, like every morning, what I wake up and I hear. Bow, 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 bow. My buddy Graham, African American gentleman, uh, was sitting on the side, and Graham said he loves it just because every time that I get super, super fucked up. Uh, they say that I run up to him, and I'm just like, WHITE PEOPLE! Every time I hear a fucking white people banger. Like, uh, what, what was the one? Oh my god, what TikTok? played? TikTok? No, something that played at my weird. wedding, and I was like, what is happening? Um, uh, it was the, uh, the fucking honky-tonk dance thing. What was it? Go and do it. Yeah, now, bro. I've been married a long time ago. Oh, that's a Cotton Eye Joe. Yeah, Cotton Eye Joe played at my fucking wedding, and I was like, if this ain't the most... Cornfield shit I ever heard in my life. Oh, you did get married around a cornfield. I did. But uh, that guy, Cody Ray, explain to us what the fuck is happening at halftime. 
I'm not sure. I think Eminem, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Kendrick Lamar, Mary J. Blige maybe all performed. I am. Yo, that'll be so a solid excited. halftime show. I am so excited. If Eminem time. does not do the real Slim Shady or have anything from D12, I'm going to be mad. Well, think about it. I mean, how many of them have songs together? You're right. You're right. And, like, Dr. Dre and Snoop have very iconical songs together, and Dr. Dre and Eminem have very iconical songs together. I don't know about Snoop and Eminem. Yeah, I don't think Snoop. So. I'm sure that they do, but nothing very iconic that's, like, crazy. Tech, if know. you got something to say over there, what's like, up? say it. What song? What? I'm about to pull up a bunch of them. Just, one, no, 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 iconic. I'm talking head. iconic. I'm not talking. I'm not talking. No, 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 no. Because you're going to pull right. up some bullshit and just be like, oh, we're the hood. And then you're like, what? What song was that? Yeah, what's the one iconic song you can think of? Forgot about Dre. Snoop Dogg Snoop's and Eminem. In that? Snoop's in that? Yeah, Snoop Dogg's in that. Okay, uh, I'm talking. No, 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 no. I'm talking. Dre. I need a doctor. Hey, madam, listen here. Snoop Dogg and Eminem together. No, just that without Dre. I'm saying them together. That's before their beef, though. Because Dre was the person who put them together in a room. I don't know. All right. Okay. What we're getting at with this is that Eminem and Snoop Dogg do not have very iconical songs. Just Eminem verse, or featuring Snoop Dogg. Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg have great songs. Dr. Dre and Eminem have great songs. Dr. Dre, Eminem, and Snoop Dogg all have great songs together. Oh, yeah. Kendrick's a goddamn beast. And Jay Blige is... Uh, Jay Blige. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying she, to... Blige. She's, a, she's a beautiful woman, that's for sure. What would you do Cody, Ray Ray with, Cody Ray with the respect to women. Cody God Ray, bless what would you do to her, Cody Ray? If she, if she gave you that little look, she said, come here. I'd buy her dinner first. I oh, you gentleman. love this gentleman. He's a fucking gentleman. And I take her back home and freak her. Freak and freak her. her. And freak her. And he said, hey, hey you bring the leftovers home to eat after? Yes. That's he a, said, he is. But, then, hey, but, 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 but does she get to eat some of the leftovers? Bro, you not see that? You think that? Hey, oh. bu- 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 this is important. I mean, that just depends on if she brought any of hers home, like. So so if you so oh. she so if she brought no leftovers home. The, these leftovers are your leftovers. There ain't no Sharon and Karen in his you room. You are a savage. Hey. I love it. I like the way you're gonna freak her and make her starve. We're all responsible for our own boxes at the table. Yeah yeah yeah. We're all yeah. At this point, we're all responsible. Yeah, starve, bitch. Bit me up. Speaking of food, <laughs> yeah, hippity hoppity, now you're my property. Go fetch me more food, bitch. Oh, I would go. Oh, I'd be so mad if you you broke her back out and then she goes. And then she, she goes, has that dance to the for a French fry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I would be baffled. I'd be like, where's your box? Just a smack of the head. These are my fries, bitch. Who do you think you are? I paid five ninety nine for these. Like, your fries? From Applebee's, like, okay. I didn't bring them home. I wasn't hungry. I'm like, oh, but now you're hungry. Oh my Shit. god. What are you eating? Where are you going? Take a Mary J. Blige on a date. Where are you going? Um, Applebee's. That's no, it. not Applebee's. I'm a cheddar. I'm more of a cheddar's guy. He's like, I'm gonna go somewhere fancier. We're gonna go to fucking Bob Evans. <laughs> Dog, Bob Evans kidding. is serving alcohol in certain states. What? I want a mimosa with my flapjacks. Why not? I, I, the first time I went to Bob Evans, the local Bob Evans, I was like, because this was a while ago they announced it. I was like, dude, I'm about to get a goddamn mimosa with my fucking breakfast, and I'm about to be stoked. And I got there, and I was like, hey, can I get a mimosa? And they laughed, and they're like, yeah, I didn't come down our pipeline yet. And I was like, I'll take an orange juice. I'll still take a mimosa. <laughs> wink, wink, wink. Wink, wink, wink. <laughs> but no, I, like, I, am, I am very excited for that halftime show. It's about time they play that good halftime show. Oh, what was yeah. the last good halftime show you remember besides... Uh, J-Lo and Shakira shaking their ass and literally getting every grown man hard right next to his wife. And yeah, I can't show. remember. Can't remember a better time. That fucking that part right there. Probably watched. I, I was on. I was probably on Facebook and Twitter watching it for. It was probably. Man, did you I, watch the halftime show actually? Yeah, and then I had to go back and watch recuts of it. What if I told you I went to the bathroom after that? Then I'd say you're. Had to. You had to. Had to release those demons. We preach about it all the time. You can't let them demons focus your life like that. Yeah, you don't let them run you. You run they, them. Oh, dude. Well, J Lo always made me feel a little weak in my Her knees. Her and A Rod ain't together no more, so she's say less. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna like, take this ring off immediately. 
Oh my god, no, it at the camera. No, um, <laughs> he just J-Lo. throws it at the camera. I'm done, J Lo, I love you. What up, no, bitch? dude, we went to the movie theaters. <laughs> Applebee's. What was the one? What was the one song? Uh, the one movie that J Lo was in where she was a stripper. Uh, I don't know. They were like, they were doing the uh, the Cardi B thing where they were like drugging guys and shit and like taking their money and getting them too fucked up. That's awesome. Uh, I forgot what the hey, tech guy, look that up real quick. But, um, Hustlers. Hustlers, thank you. I went to the movies and watched this with <clears throat> Haley, not knowing. Like, she's like, oh, I want to go watch this. I want to go watch this, whatever. And I'm like, fine, whatever. Like, whatever you want, love. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. And you when I tell you, happy. I was sitting there rock hard because J-Lo was in underwear, literally shaking her ass in the fucking... I'm like, yo, I would have looked this up on Pornhub. Why didn't you, like, place her hand on your cock to let her know, like, hey... You know, like, it's dark enough to do something right now. Because she was doing it. J-Lo was doing it for me. Are you kidding me? So, you're just... So, you nutted in your pants? You released your demons in your pants? Uh, I jizzed in my pants. Fuck. Remember that song? That yeah. Great you time. ever uh, bust a nut and put your shorts on right away? Then the extra nut? <laughs> Wait. I thought you were talking about that. I thought you said, have you ever heard? So no, I'm like, bust yeah, a nut put your shorts on right away. Bust a nut, put your shorts on, and then, like, you... I got like there's just like the little trail of nut. The excess that you're just yeah. sliming around in there. It's like a fucking yeah, well, snail. Uh, yeah, inside your shorts. <laughs> you get a little oh, after con. Sticky on the inside of your leg, and I'm like, ah, damn it. Yummy. Yummy. Yeah, that guy speaks just to say about like, Yeah, that's like man right, gravy, huh? Speaking oh, of coom, uh, Urban Meyer. God oh, love that. Oh, bro. Guy. Dude was having a ball. So. Urban Meyer was uh, recorded dancing in... Uh, no, okay, first off. Are we defend- he was not Are dancing. we defending him right away? No, let's, let's admit what happened. There was a video taken he did of Urban Meyer sitting on a bench and a girl dancing on him. Full out 4K video. Everybody saw it was Urban Meyer. Great fun. He was very quality. upset, very upset, because uh, Evan McPherson, McNasty, uh, kicked the field goal up in the uprights and won the game and beat... The Jaguars, they thought they had the game won because the first yeah, half was so, the worst first half I've ever seen in my life. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bro, let me get his demons. Suck my dick. He, oh, he had to release the demons? Is that what you're taking? Yeah, that's why he was at the bar. Saturday night, he stayed in Columbus. He stayed in Ohio. Saturday night, they found him uh, at the bar. There was a video recording of him and this uh, lovely young lady, and she was backing that ass up. Uh, she was throwing it in a circle. She was whopping that shit. Mm-hmm. And uh, she said, Poppy, so took a four K vid. What? Hmm? What did you just say? Poppy, fuck me. That's what she said. My God. <laughs> With her hips, <laughs> she spelled it out. <laughs> she spelled it out. Have you ever had a girl spell some out? I don't know. No. I I mean I don't know maybe, and I'm just too dumb to realize that she's spelling. <laughs> so, uh. He ended up uh, getting that video taken of him, and uh, he apologized to the team for being a distraction. <laughs> what a gentleman. I, all right, Nick. First off, I want to say, this dude's 0-4 in his professional career already. <laughs> he's not coaching well, because last week he said that every week he feels like he's facing Alabama. If he believes that every football team is as ranked as Alabama, we've got a big problem on because yeah. a lot of the a lot of the teams are better than Alabama. Oh yeah, but now we got to get into the nitty gritty of the situation. He ain't do nothing wrong. Nothing wrong at all. He he maybe he was just looking at it, but he didn't act on nothing. We said this beforehand. So we were, we watched the video. Detectives yeah. here, yeah. you know. Yeah. As dogs chasing down he fucking like he Jarvis Landry's it. cousin Brian Landry. Uh, we uh we detected it. We watched Landry. it. Laundry, Landry? Brian Laundry. Like my fucking laundry's hanging in the kitchen. He's got a lot of dirty laundry, doesn't he? Yep. Some dirty, some skeletons. Skeletons. So, we watched this video a bunch of times. We feel as if there's been an injustice, okay? Yeah. This yeah. man, go back and watch the video. Come back to us when you're done with this. This man is sitting on this bar seat. Depressed like, as fuck. Like this. Just, yeah, just like this. To, uh, Stiff arm. Guarding his cockola to save himself to be pure to his lady as this little sloozy yeah. says, Oh, this is Urban Meyer. I'm totally about to grind um, this 57-year-old penis. She's like, I'm totally about to make a D1 baby. 
That's what she was trying. No, Urban Meyer was not. He ain't making no D1, baby. He can coach the D1, yeah, baby. That's what I'm saying. He's going to coach it to a D1. Arm player. right here, literally not moving, just sitting here like this. In the interview, he said that these crazy little kids, little college kids, are trying to get him on the dance floor. And he said that he was in the wrong position, the wrong place at the wrong time. Granted, he was poor at guy. the wrong place at the wrong yeah, time. Yeah, poor guy. But this little sloozy just tried to ruin him. She was just trying to make Dad proud. Dad, I'm on camera. Look, you always talk about Urban Meyer. I'm just trying to talk. In Columbus, him. we all have everybody Dad, in Ohio has always guy. had a hard on for Urban Meyer of being the Ohio State coach. So she saw Urban and said, "Look, I need his cockola in my behola." Can okay? you imagine that being the talk of your Thanksgiving dinner? It's like, "Oh yeah, I totally got to torque on Urban Meyer like two months ago." So like, no, I wasn't. Candace, you were caught in a 4K video twerking on Urban Meyer. You know he's happily married. So, Dan, you are a home wrecker. Get out. You're a home wrecker. So, look at what she tried to do. She tried to ruin this man's life. Yeah. Free like, Urban Meyer. You know yeah, that? He did, He deserves so much better. Dude did nothing wrong. Tech guy just kicked the shit out that table. I'm going to kick the shit out of you. Why do you not have a shirt on, too? It's a little hot. He's getting soaked over there with this grizzly ass chest. I know. I don't get it. I got a hoodie on and everything. I'm just. Cool like a fan. I'm tight. I'm real tight. I'm not cool like here. a fan. Is that Actually, he's getting sweated. I'm thinking about how the injustice of Urban Meyer that's been happening on this. I tell you what, though. I mean, it sucks that he lost the game, but, like, man. Why? Yeah. Well, first off, isn't it funny? Maybe he wasn't too sad. Maybe maybe <laughs> he will, maybe seeing her from afar, Torque, made him a little happier. He was at a club, at a bar, on, thir- or on Saturday night. The game was on Thursday. Yeah, he was, you know... You know what happens at a bar on Saturday night. You don't go in there just to sit down for a drink. Also, you cannot be that high profile of a person to start fucking off with these in the town that loves you in Columbus. Everybody knows who Urban Meyer is from a five mile distance. Yeah. And this guy is like, all right, let me just sit down at the bar. He's like, innocent. He, he's you like, know what? He ain't like, so innocent. Let me re- let me backtrack. He knew what he was getting himself into. He yeah. wore all of his Ohio State golds on his rings. He's sitting there and he's like, Urban, you back? Sure, for the night. <laughs> Just for the night, don't tell my wife. Who, who is he coaching now? He's a coach of Jacksonville Jaguars. He's 0-4. He's not doing good. No. His, he p- not. Play, his play scheme, horrible. Ohio State was great. So I just, playing yo, scrubs. I just picked up Sam Darnold in fantasy. Did you? Yeah, in our Bogart Up League. Really? Yes. Did you pick him up or did you put him in the waiver? Waiver. Because mine's in the waiver too. Fuck! I ain't getting him. We got to find out the priority of that shit. We'll talk about that shit after. But uh, oh, well, what's I next on the it. list? Here, Cody Ray, as you are smoking down your goddamn egg. You know there's a there's a commercial coming out here that shows that that, that makes depression. Shut up. I've seen that bullshit. <laughs> Can I get a depression stick? Yeah, I was like, yeah, what flavor? What you got? How much? They're all like, they're like, tech guy. It's a double negative. I'm already depressed, so I need <laughs> something that makes you depressed, and it's like positive. Balances out. Yeah. Two double, yeah, two negative make a positive. I love yeah. that middle school. Mm-hmm. Elementary school. In middle school. All right. Uh, so Cody Ray, what, what's, what's up, up here? Here? We learned it. I don't know. Cody Ray, what the fuck is on the agenda? What's next year? We just have some whistleblowing action. Oh, if you don't shit. read from your goddamn phone, from your blind yeah. ass trying to read that. We got whistleblowing. He goes, "What? We got some." I gotta get a whistleblower. I swear I'm not. You ever have a fucking? I, isn't it the funniest shit? And it's actually really sad now because you were not old. But it's so sad when yeah. you see old people like they're like, "Hey, grandma, what does that say?" And you don't think about it, and she's like. Independent woman over here. Yeah, independent. I got it. I got. It. Says that says that says live large. What? God damn it! I I, it, it says live La- large. I love it. What is love a, what is a whistle blowing here? What do we got here? Something about Facebook and Instagram shut down. Oh yeah, I seen that. Some bitch came out and uh, linked oh, a bunch of stuff about Facebook it? being not like for the people. What was it? it was like. It was a 60 minute, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a 60 minute interview. Yeah, the 60 minute interview thing. She ended up getting a nice little interview. And oh, yeah. I wonder how what much it, yeah, tell me tell me about it, Nick, because you know. I wonder how much talk she got off of that. Speak on it. Go ahead. Tell oh, me about it. Oh, but she fucking uh, leaked a bunch of information just saying how 
if it were to come between making profit or the security of the people that are always putting the profits first and you know which facebook's used for like terrorist groups too like you can basically make a group for anything on there like and this is like uh, i guess cartels and shit this is all off of zuckerberg uh i don't know i'm not too sure what you got I'm sorry. We got to hold on. Hold on. Just take a second here. Oh, I got to just reach his paw under the door. <laughs> my cat just reached his paw underneath the door and just starts fighting my keys. I need to like toss the keys out there. And the reason that isn't the reason why they went down. They why didn't, they didn't go down because of the whistle blowing stuff? They went down because their servers were having problems. Uh, yeah, isn't that a fucking coincidence? Yeah. Their servers just so happen to have a problem on the same fucking time as their cocks are getting exploded because this this loozy took all yeah. billions of copies. What is it? Oh, you need a, she said something on there was like 10,000 fucking copies of something. They copied a bunch of papers and put it on there. And it's like, oh, I can't even say that personal thing. I'll say that fucking thing for fucking. Wow. But, uh. The uh, for her to, for her to be uh, setting that shit up in flames and for them to be like, oh, we have server problems. Oh no, like no. fucking Robin Hood. That's what I was gonna fucking say. I didn't want oh. to. Say, when, I, I couldn't remember the fucking brain. When Robin Hood, everybody's doing fucking good, and they're like, oh, we have server problems. Everybody, hold oh, on a second here. This this is escalating very fast. We can't control it. And, no, bitch, let it flow. Literally to the fucking moon, bitch. No, it's but uh, that's what it was. They, they literally were like, ah, oh, shit, ah, oh, shit, we're in trouble. We we call, we call, T- we call. Turn it all down. Turn, shut them down. Shut them down. Mark Zuckerberg, like, going through your DMs and just seeing all the news you send, he's like, <laughs> oh. You know what was so sad, dude? It made me actually almost shed a tear to see that this man, uh, he went down uh, $7 billion. And uh, he, was, he went down a couple spots in the richest man in uh, the world. Oh, Very, poor guy. Yeah, poor guy. He's like ranked seventh now, dude. Yeah. Or like it's like it's not in the world. It's off of like uh like if you built something or something in that nature. He, right. They like he was above the guy that did like FedEx or some shit or something like that. There was one that was Amazon, of course. There was fucking uh, there was a couple of, like creators of some sort of stuff like that, and there was him. And wow. there was like there was two above him that were like in the seven billion market, and I'm like, damn, dude, what a shame. Everybody's just crying at his table right now. Literally. He lost $7 billion in net worth. Like, how fucking dare he? I got... He's That's people. a lot of money, though. $7 billion to lose? Yeah. But he also... Do you know what his number was? His number was like $130 billion. Yeah, fuck it. I kiss my cock. Yeah, you know, fuck it. But, uh, no, Zuckerberg's in charge of the algorithm. That's how he was in charge of this shit. Or that's how he was in trouble for this shit. Because he was taking profit over safety. Because yeah. he was in charge of what was going up and down. Right. Uh, what was it? $29.9 billion in profit in 2020. And, uh, they expanded the user base to include kids. IG for kids. Even though their current approach screams addiction, uh, and is harmful for teenagers. Thanks for uh, the tech guy with the, uh, the hot facts right there. But no, th- th- that's true. They opened up IG, uh, Facebook, so because Facebook was like right. an old man world, so they opened up IG and he's running the IG up. Right? Yeah. So we're probably not going to see you guys soon. <laughs> literally. We just can't put this part on there because he's going to be like, oh, no, fuck it, you can't do that. Yeah, literally, he's like, up oh, censor. Well, they already censored us on Facebook. Yep, crackheads. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Crack. Mark, you bitch. Come fist fight me, you Harvard smelly bastard. What the fuck? I don't know, I'm just talking on my ass. Back and clean out of our pisser once again. Oof. Yup, so we just, what we got, like, we about to just roll some cues for y'all mocks. You know, every week you're sending us some crazy funny ones and it gets harder and harder to, you know, harder and harder to pick one, but we got this. We're about to roll the cues in the alley. Roll the cues. Yeah. yeah. We're up first with Ryan. Ryan wants to know what your favorite childhood TV show is. Ooh, um, either Ed, Ed, and Eddie or Ooh, or uh, The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. I'm just saying, I fucked with them too super heavy. Mine was either Fresh Prince or Family Matters. Damn. I used to wake up at like 5 o'clock in the morning on school days because Family Matters only plays like at 5 o'clock in the morning. For like an hour. <laughs> I love it. That's hilarious. Steve Urkel, dude. And, and Stefan. 
I learned a lot from Stefan. When he turned into Stefan, I was like, ooh. You had it in you the whole time. You had it in you the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All but. right. On to the next one. Ben wants to know. Shout out Ben. Ben. Dude, Ben yeah. just made new shirts. Did you see those fuckers? I messaged him. I was I like, yo, he's going to give us some on the house. So we'll be coming up with the threads soon. Oh. We'll be wearing some of Ben's shirts. Stay tuned. But Ben wants to know where the honeymoon's going to be. I'm sure a lot of other people want to know as well. Technically, it's Mexico without it being Mexico. Like, we're in Mexico, but it's not for our honeymoon. My father's getting married down there. Oh, shit. So, Fuck we're going to be in Mexico uh, two at the beginning of December. Once. If I have service for that, Lord have mercy, because it's an all inclusive fucking Instagram oh, takeover. Mexico? Yo, front like 1500 right now, go. Seriously? And you gotta get a passport, but yeah. I don't know if I can get a passport. Oh yeah, I can get a passport by that. We have somebody that's going with us that literally just got a passport turned in today. Uh, get a passport tomorrow and turn in 1500 and talk to good old Troy Brown. I'm sure that they might be able to pull a thing or two. Yeah, Troy, I'll fucking shack up with Travis if I got to. Sounds like you guys might need a tech guy to go with you to keep you under control. Mm. Oh. He said a, He just said a tech guy. He goes, sounds like you need a tech guy. You just try to throw other tech oh, guy yeah. out. I'll talk about him. <laughs> oh, you want him to go? Yeah, I got to work. I'm not a babysitter. He said, I, I got to work. Babysitter. I love it. Shout out Ben, though. Yeah, Ben's tight. Dean from Supernatural. Yeah, that's him. He uh, texted me. He wants to know what's the best advice you can give your younger self. Which one was Dean? The motherfucker who's like, Oh, Sal. Uh, a father dies and I don't know how to handle it. Uh, uh, I suppress my feelings too much. Uh, I'm so mad. I like to fight ghosts. Fuck the anomaly. Fuck. Look at my car. Look at my car. <laughs> Look at my fast car. Tech feel. guy's busting his fucking gut over there. Sam. <laughs> Sam, don't make you deal with the demon. Dude, you sound just like him. You been practicing that? No, it's just like literally like, <laughs> I can hear it in my head. I'm just like, Sam. I'm literally laughing, so I'm sweating because of how hard he's laughing. That was the funniest shit. You just killed him. Sam, did you just impregnate my girlfriend, bro? <laughs> what the fuck? Who was the fucking, what was the one dude that was super fucking hot? I forgot his name already. Dean? No, bro. <laughs> fucking, uh. Castillo? No, dude with the mullet. I don't know, but look at my car. Doug. Is that Doug? Doug? I fucked with Castillo. Castillo was so dope. I think I would run into Doug in prison and sing Ignition to him. Alright, alright, oh, I like that. That dude's hot. That dude's mad hot. Get a cutout of him right what here. What was his name? What? Doug? The brother dude that was a fucking like demon out of his face cracking and shit. I also didn't see the, is, is a new series? Is a new series? Is he out yet? Yeah, the whole twelfth season. They just ended it. Oh, I Sam. didn't see that yet. We need another season. Sam, I'm out of money. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Season thirteen coming soon. Season <laughs> thirteen. Uh so what was the question again? What uh what's the best advice you would give your younger self? Um, don't sweat the little things. Live in the moment. Cause I, uh, I used to always worry about you know what the fuck's gonna happen before the first thing. Before I, I, w I would always plan everything that I had. Then I'd get so pissed off when one thing would fuck up because it fucked up the whole thing I had planned. So it's like falling dominoes. Literally. I feel that. Uh. I learned this really big this last weekend because there was so much going on between getting the house and getting married and everything. Um, how like I almost to a point, I just wanted the wedding to be over with because we had to cancel it last year because of COVID. And after it happened, when I woke up on Sunday, I was so fucking sad because I was like, it's, it's over. over. It's over. And like all the boys, everybody was messaging me like talking about it. Like, I can't believe it's over. Like we just did two of the best weekends of our lives. And it's over. Like what we got we go, just want super hard. We gotta go back to normal population now. Like next weekend is. we're not gonna get back together. And it's like one of that sad fucking thing where it's like you didn't know it but the last time you you didn't know it, but you and your boys yeah. were playing football for the last time and didn't even know it. Yeah. 
But no, I would say just take advantage of your uh, uh, take advantage of the situation at the moment and take it minute by minute. Don't <laughs> don't rush stuff because you really want to cherish it all. Yeah, shout out Dean. Um, that was a good question. Yeah. Dean. But Jenny's got a good one too. This one's pretty interesting. Oh, Why do you guys yeah. like girls' butts so much? And what would you do if a girl would let you do whatever you want with it? Oh my God, I love ass. With a butt. With a butt. I love ass. Nick, go ahead, because you can barely hold yourself right I now. I love ass, bro. I, I, and it's even better when you can do whatever you want with it. Ass is, ass is amazing. Ass is key. If you don't like anything to do with ass, grow up. Truthfully, the, the my biggest fight on that, and it's kind of funny, is like, because I used to be a huge tits guy, and I was like, you can't just put your, I mean, you can put your dick in tits, but it's not that fun. You gotta operate stuff. I mean, like, yeah, you can put your pee pee on the butt. And, there, and on a butt, there's a thing called it's a butt hole. Oh. And what that means is that you can enter the hole. Literally, yeah. And you can do whatever the fuck you want. You know, it's even just better when you can do whatever you want. What was the what was the second part of that? Oh, I'm sorry. What would you do if you could do whatever you want with it? With oh, I would do everything that I could do it. Anything you can think of, I'm doing it. Give an example. <laughs> Yes, but well, thank you. Thank um, you, tech guy. <laughs> fuck. Turn it to mac and cheese? No, I'm, I would That's disgusting. Bake it. 350 degrees oh Fahrenheit. Oh, like, put some sesame seeds on top of it. I would place her ever so giant, slightly, like, gently on top of me. And just fucking... I don't know. This dude one. said I would do everything and anything, and it said the only thing oh, that no. every other guy is thinking about doing oh, is no, placing it ever so gently. And that's one thing. I don't know. That's just an example. You know, anything nasty, you don't think of, I'm going to do it. You know, I'm going to eat her ass. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. What are you doing? Do okay. you like ass? I'm cutting that ass straight off, and I'm putting it on the wall like a deer. Holy shit. You get it stuffed. It's already stuffed. <laughs> I love it. Wow. Being like, fight, not I, I'm just talking. Are we talking just a glorious big booty, or are we talking like a no? Booty why do you guys like girls so much? No, why do guys not... like... this is why you read. This is why <laughs> tech guy reads because this dude missed like half the words that were in that sentence. Why do girls like why do guys like girls so much? Why, why, why Nick? Huh? I, I don't what, think you're thinking about a girl, but you like girls so much, Nick. I don't know, I like wet puss. That had to be the most freshman in college answer I've ever heard in Fuck, my fucking bro, you life. Ever just... I like fucking wet puss, bro. <laughs> no. You got a fucking problem with me, bro? Yeah, bro, you like you got a problem with Who the fresh... fuck do you know in here, bro? Yeah, bro? You got a problem with wet puss, bro? It's not that you was a freshman frat boy. What wet puss, bro? Come rush. Rush us. Rush our fraternity, wet puss. She ain't even that hot. What puss hot? Though? Well, guess what, though? Well, guess what, though? That wet puss, though. Fuck, Travis, what about you? You got me all day here talking. What were you doing? To a butt? Yeah. Cutting it off. That's very Put it on the wall like a deer. Holy shit. <laughs> no, bro, I'm gonna... <laughs> you gonna open that shit up like fruit? Like a... Can we take a moment of silence for the vocal cords of I tech know. guy that just decided to just... I know. Fuck as loud as you could. He goes, I'm gonna cover my mouth. <laughs> oh my god. Travis is gonna like pour, he's gonna eat cereal out of a booty hole. <laughs> that video was disgusting. For, yeah, for looping? They had that metal fucking thing that held the butthole Stop. open. They put milk in it. Yeah, You've never seen that video? Bro, they had metal clamps on the inside of the butthole and they spread it open and they poured milk in it. And then they put Fruit Seriously. Loops in it, and they, and they ate the Fruit Loops. As the lit, it, tech guy, what the fuck did you do? Were you not recording that whole time? We had some technical difficulties. We technical very sorry about it. Uh, we had one of the cameras die on us, so we are uh, going with just the one. It's all right. It's all right, though. So uh, we'll oh, jump man. right back into Don's questions. What you got for us there? Uh, and the thing that might have shook a little bit, just to let you know. We might be a little shaky. You're not on a roller coaster ride. Everything's all right. Yeah, we're working on some stuff, but we'll get it all soon. Yeah, we'll get it. Go to Ray, you tell them. I, I will. Good job. <laughs> Thanks. But Don's got some questions for you, though. Don, hold on. At the wedding, somebody came up to, uh, shout out Jacob, uh, avid listener, comes up to Don. Don's at the fucking wedding, clearly. 
He goes, is this Don the alien? And I was like, oh, that just totally made Don's day. I love it. That's funny. Dude was like, well, maybe. Well, who, who am I? Who are you? I, like, I, I thought it was so funny. But yeah, no. Shut up, Don. Did you guys ever end up sparring? No. I thought you guys weren't sparring. They also got, he also got asked that twice. Don got asked that twice at the wedding. Why haven't you sparred Nick yet? He wanted to spar him at the wedding. Oh, my God. Actually, you know what's funny is Don's coming back in a month, too, so... Uh, we, better, we better start training, dude. He's waiting for that spar. He yeah, actually wants to spar. Nick is scared to fight Don. I don't know why he just wants to spar me. You're the one that's piping his daughter. He should want to spar you. Because Don knows what he's able to capable. He's capable of handling, okay? He can't do this. That, yeah. Oh, so you're just saying he, kn he, he knows that he could... He'd he run miles around you. He'd get three feet... Last three feet, I hope he graced those feet preciously. <laughs> what, are, what are this man's questions? God, yeah, love this guy. Uh, the first one is, who has the crazier family and why? Cody, right? Also, keep your mic like that. You keep wobbling it like you're... Sorry. Kesha. Like a, like a, like a like schmoozy a, with a penis. Just yeah. luba, 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 luba. Yeah. Just, huh? But, uh, uh -huh. Travis, you got a, do you think you got a crazy <laughs> family? What? You think you got a crazy family? Uh, kind of. I think that I got a lot of alcoholics in my family. I had an uncle who was uh, the town's most wanted person at one time. Pardon? <laughs> yeah, bro. Man was on the run. You're a snitch. No, I didn't say where he was. He already, He's he, still out? No, he got caught. Oh, I was about to say, what? Like 12 years later. Yo, he's like that goddamn, uh, what's the dude on, uh, that Johnny Depp played? No, um, I don't, wait, hold on, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, he, I know he didn't have to do any jail time because of that for so long, like, the words kind of just went away. Statue of limitations. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, thank you for that, I was all saying, is that fucking, but he's still, Whitey out. Bulger's fucking case has held on for 40 years. He was on the, that's what Johnny Depp played. Whitey Bulger was caught in, like, his fucking, like, late 70s. He went down to like California and he just was walking from the beach and they were like, freeze. And he's like, oh shit, okay. oh shit, okay. Wow. Well, I'm sure it's for different things. His yeah. shit wasn't that serious. The no, Whitey Bulger was literally murdering people when he was running. Yeah, the fucking no, beach. yeah, that's completely so. different. He just stole some money from a scrapyard. What the fuck? So like, say, uh, so. You shouldn't have said why. Let's re yeah. like, erase that, rewind it, say he murdered 45 people and he was on the run. It's, that's a lot cooler than embezzling. No, literally, like, so a truck would come in, he'd say, wait this much, or really wait this much. Ah, okay, I see what you're saying. I'm yeah. pretting sure that's embezzling, dude. Oh, fuck, I don't know, but I know it was just literally that's a like... a big word, technically. It was literally, like, just a slap on the wrist, but he was just like, fuck this. And I was like, okay, wow. I, all right, we'll give it to you, because I have not had anybody on that list. That's yeah, well, kind of fucking say this, Yeah, I was going to say, it's crazy. I thought it was hilarious. Tory Wright was next. Do you have any secret talents, and can you do it right now? I can juggle, but there's nothing in here that I can juggle. I can twitch my ears. I don't want to juggle can, phones. Like, I'm not juggling phones. Um, if there was balls in here, balls are perfect. They're like I don't balls, know. the stereotypical. I got uh, pliers like, right there. Um, you got three of these drywall anchors things. I got three of these right here. Hold on, the expo marker things. Oh yeah, maybe that that'll do. I got you. Let me, let me get. See. Let me get. Them. Let me get. Them. Hold, Hold on. on. Stop. Grab these extra markers. Maybe I can do it. Does this work? I can try it. Alright, fuck it up. Don't break our new table. Yeah! Uh, That's a good start. Ah, uh, I can do it. These are just cylinders. There goes the table. There goes the table. There goes the table. But it, it's a. I, I'm, I'm, I've always done it with just like balls and stuff, and like flat, you know. Loves juggling balls. Yes, I love them in my mouth. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Didn't mean to get wild on that move, but alright. <laughs> uh, I can twitch my ears, and I can make my eyes Let me look see your as if ear I twitch. need like a seizure. Let me um, see your ear twitch right now. Oh my shit! Oh my, oh my god. god. Yeah, I'm from. Uh, Motherfucker from Wiggles Eels. I'm from Hogwarts. Oh, <laughs> uh, in my eye, it's uh kind of fucking wild, but it's like that's hilarious. Get out of here! You're just making it twitch. It's not even like it makes my eyes hurt. Yeah, it makes my eyes. I used to do that in class. I used to just look at the teacher and just be like, 
She'd be like, are you okay? I'd kick you out, dude. I'd kick you out of class. Yeah. Well, this guy's not dying in here. <laughs> <laughs> that was strong! That was strong! <laughs> they don't pay me enough to deal with this. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Call What's you. the next question? How many more do we got here? If you can invent a holiday, what would it be? Travis, you go first. I, I got to just see how you're going to be. A, is it a national holiday, or is this just one of those holidays that's like, it's National Pancake Day, or everybody eat a, a pancake. Or, or it's a holiday like everybody would celebrate. It's a holiday everybody would celebrate because it's so awesome. Okay, but okay. not like a national holiday. Right, I, like I like that. Okay, okay. I like that. Okay, let me think about it here. So like 420. Thank you for, thank you for holding that cough instead of fucking... Um, <laughs> I think it would... Um, I don't know. Travis, somebody go first. I know, I need you to go first, because I gotta, because whatever you go out is how uh, Everybody has to shotgun one beer. National shotgun a beer? National day? shotgun a beer. If you don't shotgun a beer in that day, you have to keep the tab on you. If you do not shotgun a beer, uh, actually, you know what? No, I got a better one. Thank you. Nobody's able to drive, but National Drunk Day. You have to keep your blood alcohol level above 0.08 the whole day. <laughs> I like that holiday, yo. That's crazy. <laughs> I would celebrate. National Drunk Day. National Booger Day, if you will. National Ooh. Booger Day. You gotta stay boogered. Yeah. Um, I think, I think mine would be... Uh... If you see one car on that day, that's you're, you're terrified. <laughs> No, you're terrified. The cops are driving, and they're like, what are you doing? The cops are hammered. What are you yeah, doing? Yeah, they're doing the same thing. You know how hard it is to do my job? Look Drunk. At cops like, hey, you're not supposed to be out here. The amount of, oh, God. Pulls that over would be dude. so good and so bad. And Pulls same over, time. dude, and he's like, what seems to be the officer problem? <laughs> dude, that fucked me up right there. I was like, what? <laughs> um, I'd say... It, it'd have to do something with food because I love food, but it'd have to be something with blowjobs because I love blowjobs. I'm fucking hungry, and I could really use a blowy. I see, but I'm like, I don't know how we, everybody would celebrate that. Like, you know what I'm saying? National I got Day. it. I got it. National Eddie Murphy Day. You want to know why? Why? Because Eddie Murphy got head in his hotel on the top. Looking at the okay. uh, at, in Paris, because that's where the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, right? he was getting ahead while he was eating dinner. Huh? He was eating dinner off her back. Yo, yeah, National Eddie Murphy Day. Savage. That is awesome. It's National Eddie Murphy Day. I did that Baby, one time. if you're listening, it's National Eddie Murphy Day. I did Day. that. That's how I knew that picture. Because I did that one time. Did you hear me? Time? My life. What? Oh, God. I said, Baby, if you're listening, it's National Eddie Murphy Day. Today, right now. I'm going to go eat my cheeseburger. Whatever you listen to it. I'll put it on your back. Today's the day. I'll, I'll put the ketchup on your back and I'll slide it off with the fries. But what happens when she wants to celebrate? I'm down. What does she need to eat? Because ours is going to be a burger. Got to have a burger or a steak. get head. I want a steak. No, no, no. She wants some fettuccine Alfredo. Put it on your back, Nick. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll get a fat burger. We don't give out. head like they give head. What the fuck? We're not off on the side shining our ass out on the side while they just have a plate. We'd have to invent something. Our head is like it. chucked in on that shit then. She'd have to set like a TV tray on her head. <laughs> and like... <laughs> I mean, that's the visual of just a... Alright, I'm ready. <laughs> Quit moving your head. You're making the food spill. <laughs> I was sitting there and you're just like... <sighs> Fuck, my sprites are Don't turn your head left and right. I love it. You dropped a noodle in my ear. What the hell? Oh, my God. Do we got anything else left? Uh, left, that guy? Is there anything else? That's all the questions. That's oh, everything shit. we got? That's well, it. So let's wrap it up, then. Oh, well, yeah. Thank you guys very much for asking these uh, questions. Do you want any motivation? We'll do one last motivation. For I got people. motivation right now. We are having a boogered up sale all month of October. 25% off. Travis, did we agree on that or free shipping? How well we discuss that. I mean, you know what? No. Make that decision Let's do right, it right now, now. Because it is going two to Two weeks be. prior. Let's do two weeks prior. Two weeks before Halloween. Get the good buildup of Halloween. That's where you got to watch a scary movie. Every fucking day of the week. Really feel it in your goddamn coca. And, and we're then, going to be harping you guys about this. Let's do... I'm going to be pushing this hard. Let's do... 25% off. We're we'll going to be doing 25% off all Whole merch store. on Big Cartel. Whole store is 25% off. Tech guy's raising his hand right now. Hey, it's okay. 
So are you giving him the mic? Yeah. Are we gonna have these dudes do the scary stories? Have them send them scary stories? Scary. Oh, stories? oh, oh yeah, good idea. Send in, good send idea. In, send, send in your scary drunk stories. No, I, I got a good word. idea. We're announcing it right now. I'm not even talking about it because it's a great fucking idea, and I'm Over sticking here. to it. The whole month of October, we're low. We love horror. We love horror. As you see, Michael Myers has been hanging out behind me. Send in the best scary story you have. Best scary story by the end of October gets a free T-shirt. Like one it. free shirt, run free T-shirt like of choice. Yep. We, yep. 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 I like that. You like that? You yep. like that? Yep. Saucy. Yep. Saucy. Get you guys. And now, now are we saying one scary story or one scary drunk story? Gotta be drunk. Scary drunk story. The Your best, best scary. the best scary best time you ran from the cops. Something of that nature. Anything of that. Yes. Yes. Best I like that. scary, and you gotta build it up. You gotta build a suspense. Whether so it's everything. a video, if you have to send the video to us to Anything. really build the, 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 the suspense, or type it out. Send them in on all of our free platforms. T-shirt, any T-shirt. We'll get on that. But any motivation you got, real quick? No. Besides I'm that, besides buy your T-shirt. I'm still on that because discount code is gonna be buggered. Boogered is the For discount code. Off. We'll let you guys know when it starts. Yes. It should start probably the Monday before. We'll let that date know. But tech guy, what the fuck? Look at the goddamn. What is a okay? I gotta. Oh god, what is this? That that's Monday. Hey, wait. Columbus Day. Yeah, the I'm Schmuck gonna... Day. All right, on Columbus Day. The indigenous people. Day. The Schmuck Indigenous People Day. Starting on October. I don't fucking know that day. The eleventh. Starting October 11th. So 25% we're off this goes the whole up. This store. goes up on uh, what the fuck? I can't do math. Six, seven, eight, 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 eight on the eighth. It comes up on the eighth. On this upcoming Monday is when it starts out. You guys have 25% yeah. no matter what. We appreciate you guys for everything you guys have been doing to uh, helping us and everything. 25% off your whole order. Discount code is gonna be booger. Booger is out. a discount code and send in your stories and for a free t shirt. Free t shirt of your choice. Uh, other than that, take care of each other, love your homies, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to get uh, peace out here. Cody Ray, thanks for finally getting a mic. Gage, thanks for talking without a mic right now. Uh, Booger Duck's doing real good stuff right here. Yeah, I cannot wait to see what's happening crazy. with this. But till then, we'll see you guys next Friday. Peace. Bye.